Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back. Welcome newcomers to the channel. I have four new QSP knives. I've taken three of them out of the box. I know what they feel like. This one, oh, I cannot wait. I saved this one. This will be the best for last, or maybe it'll be the third one, but I'm gonna get into these, and then this is the one that everyone keeps asking me about, but I'm gonna get in them. We're gonna get in it to win it. We're gonna check them out. We're gonna do it real fast, and all that's gonna start right now. First up on the docket is the QSP Walrus. Would you look at it? By the way, QSP has really nice packages. You always get some statistics and a couple stickers and all that good stuff, but check this bad boy out. That is is the walrus and look at the micarta oh yes it's the good stuff oh hold on a little feel of vision <laughs> get out there nice and close and just look at it oh it feels so good it has a lanyard hole and look at this it has big old jimping nice grippage for the jimpage it has a pocket clip but it's not reversible and it's not deep carry it this one carries super well spoiler alert it works very well the action the ergos everything about this knife it is a total win especially for the price of of course I'm getting ahead of myself, but you know what? I don't always have to go in the same order every video. Back to this one, check it out. This is a captive pivot. It has ceramic ball bearings. Here's your flipper tab. And when you pull back on the flipper tab, you get pow, right in the kisser. Oh mama, look at that. Would you look at it? I mean, that is a Wicado blade and it is very, very sharp. Check it out, nice little swedge, kind of an upswept action, a little bit of, little bit of belly, a little bit of belly, a little bit of point, and then just going from one end all the way down, a quick tour, nice stone wash on that blade, going all the way down, taking a look, and guess what? It has very good pass through, very good action, it's buttery smooth, you don't have to dig your thumb in there to disengage it. This is one of those ones, it's a flipper and a flicker's dream, it's dreamy, and check it out. The blade is centered, and here's a look at your lockup coming right in the middle, right where you want it, baby. These come in the green micarta, you can get JG10, or they have a rough brown, really dark brown micarta that looks very nice, very, very nice. This has D2 steel, and from tip to tip, it's 8.13 inches long, it's 4.75 inches closed, and your blade is 3.38 inches. This comes in at an even four ounces, it feels very nice, it has, it has a, buttery smooth action, the blade just, oh my goodness, it is, look, I don't have to go over nitpicks because I don't really have nitpicks here. It has a great sharpening choil, the action, the ergos, it flows in the hand. I'm telling you right now, the ergos, dead on. Look, look how it flows in the back of my hand. Just kind of comes up on the palm, has a nice flow around. Your thumb lands on here perfectly. You can choke your thumb up and it kind of has a landing pad right here for your thumb. Very, very nice slicer. They did a good job on the jimping. The jimping has really good grip. It's dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a dig And they chamfer those handles. There's not sharp edges. It's it's just a great overall life. I don't even have to give you nitpicks because I don't really have any. It has all the things that you want in a budget knife. It has D2 blade steel, and these are less than 50 bucks. And if you want to really step it up, and by the way, did I say this has fantastic ergos? Because it really does. Now let's step it up a notch. Check out this bad boy. Are you ready for this one? <laughs> oh yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna knock it up a notch, all you knife enthusiasts, you knife lovers, knife aficionados, oh my goodness, look at this bad boy. This is the QSP Capybara. <laughs> Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its capybara-ness. There are two different colorways of this bad boy. That is titanium. And look at this, that carbon fiber in the black, white, and blue also matches the pivot collar, which also matches these very, very nice thumb studs. The jimping is el perfecto. The jimping is so good, so grabby. Wait till you see this blade, but I gotta let you see the whole knife first. It has a milled titanium clip. It is a strong clip. It's very clippy in and out of the pocket. It has good retention. And this is a frame lock. You have a titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert. And are you, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh yeah, I just wanted you to hear it. <laughs> no pow on this one because it is absolutely gorgeous. That is a satin, a belt satin hollow ground blade. 
Oh my Lanta. It, oh, look at this. This is the blade shape. <laughs> this is the blade shape. This knife is so nice. And of the two colorways, the other one is the black. You can get the satin or the stone washed. So whatever your preference is, you're good to go. This is M390 blade steel, baby. And the pocket clip, it is not, oh, and by the way, did I, did I say that it has good action? The pocket clip is not deep carry, so you have about this much sticking out of your pocket. So it, it'll attract a little bit of attention, a little bit of pocket jewelry. The snap on this thing is so good. Whether you're using the thumb stud, oh yes, that, that thumb stud is very comfortable. And look at that. It is milled. You can see, can you see a little bit of ridging going on right there? It's kind of hard to show you in the shadows, but there's some ridging and it kind of steps up. And I love how you can see the sides of it. It just makes it look so good. I, I, I have to not dote about this knife, but I really do because it is that good. Super snappy. It is, I mean, it is rock solid. There's your lockup. The lockup's about 35%. The blade is absolutely centered and check this out look at that all you lanyard lovers you have plenty of room to put a lanyard in there and i love how they did this crowned edge on the back spacer that just looks very nice very very nice and check out that carbon fiber oh it just looks this is a premium knife for people that want to get a premium knife <laughs> and oh i don't have to spoil this one this one right here the ergonomics Parfait. They're El Perfecto. In the choked up position in this big forward choil, it is so good. I'm locked into place with that excellent jumping. Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig. Look at this. I mean, I, I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, QSP is just, oh, they're nailing it. They're totally nailing it. This is a looker and a feeler, and you have a little bit of milling coming all the way down here just to give it, take away the plainness of the titanium and add just a little bit to it. It is a beautiful knife. Overall, this bad boy comes in at about 7.4 inches. It has a 3.1 inch blade. Your sharpened length's coming in at about 2.75, 2.8 inches. And this is a dreamy, I mean, this is one that I'm going to carry <laughs> when I go to the holidays. We have a, a friend's giving coming up, kind of in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm gonna be carrying this one and showing this one off because it is just so Good, it is so nice. Oh, I almost forgot to mention QSP has a huge sale going on right now. You know it's the holidays. I'll have a link in the comment section and in the description where you could go check this knife out if you want to get a little more details on this bad boy or the other ones, the other ones that are coming up. And by the way, the QSP Penguin, the knife that's been in over 700 of my videos, I found it on their website for $24 here. But are you ready? All right, let's get the next one out. Now this one we're gonna go over more briefly because I just did a video on a different configuration configuration of this knife. So this will be a, like a once over or a once over again. <laughs> that way, because if, if you saw my video on this, this is the folding canary. This is the QSP canary. I love it. I love the neck knife also. The neck knife is a fixie, but check this out. This is something new. I've never had this on the channel. Besides the fact that we have a new variation or a new variant or configuration of the QSP canary. Look at this. This is texture that I've never seen or felt on Altum scales. Would you look at that? They they popped up some texture on there. A little bit of texture vision for you. So this made it very nice. This one here has excellent, like I would call it regular texture on G10. You know, it's good. I love this texture, but I'm glad that Altum now is coming in something that's a little less slick, that's a little more, ooh, ooh, I like it. But this is one of those perfect sized everyday carry knives that you grab and throw in your pocket before you go anywhere. It's just, it's one of those knives that anyone can use. If they're a two finger opener, a two hand opener, sometimes Mrs. B's, she opens a knife like this. She's like, I don't have to flip it or flick it if I'm gonna cut a label or cut something, but this has a nice size blade. It's a thin blade stock. It is a very sturdy feeling knife. It is a medium sized knife. You know the size of my hand if you watch my videos. It fills up my hand. It gives me plenty of, oh, you can really get in there, make a hot dog stick or anything like that. But you, this gives you an idea of the two variations of the blade. You can get the black stone wash or the stone wash. Oh, and not to mention the fact this is 14C 28 inch, baby. So you get some nice 
premium budget realm knife steel and a very good knife with great materials materials for the handle. And just because it hasn't made an appearance yet, here is the QSP Penguin if you wanted to get a little bit of size reference. And while we have these bad boys on the table, here is the Canary Neck Knife. Comes in a really nice Kydex sheath. And I was digging this knife before I even knew they were gonna have a folding canary. This one is smaller. And you can, you can put this wherever you want. You could even pocket drop it if you wanted to, but it comes with a really nice thing to hang around your neck. But this is a great little two and a half, three finger knife. It's another one. These are both everyday, these are all, all of these are great everyday carry knives. And the thing that's crazy about the Canary is that you could get these, these start at like $41 here for 14C, 28N, G10, and they run up to like around 63, depending on what, how fancy you wanna get with the knife, but the, this is a great knife. What can I say? I really like it. You can go watch my video on this one recently and you could get a little more details. But now I'm gonna get to the one that so many people have been asking me about. This is the one I did not take out of the box. I did not unbox it because I wanted to experience this with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. It is a new, completely new model in of itself, even though it's a, not a new model, but it's a new model. It's a new configuration of a knife that has been on this channel over 700 and probably 750 videos. This is the new QSP Penguin button lock. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And I have my, cr I have my cringers frost. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. I have my fingers crossed. Please tell me you don't you don't have bad bounce out and that you have good blade retention because I already love the looks of it and I love flipper knives. And th this is an example of the regular QSP Penguin that I show all the time as a knife to use for a knife site, a size comparison. There are over 30 different variants of the QSP Penguin. You can get carbon fiber, you can get so many things. You can get titanium, you can get steel, you can get different blade steels. Oh, by the way, you can also get the Penguin Mini, which is this one right here. I mean, I'm taking the time because you all know that I really love the QSP Penguin. It's become a thing. And oh, by the way, you can also get this bad boy, the El Primo with the flipper, and this is the large, <laughs> it's a big boy. But let me get to the one that this video is all about. This is the Button Lock Penguin. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna start out with the thumb stud. Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh, that was good. And look, I just want like this for the liner lock. It's not there. All right, let's see how the button is. Okay. Oh. 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 Yes. Okay. Oh, I was so nervous that I was gonna, it was gonna be a bad bounce out, but that action is perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am so, I, I was like, it's either gonna really suck bad or it's gonna be good. And you know what? We lucked out, it is good. And this micarta, look at that. Beautiful green micarta. There, I think there's a few different versions of this one. I know it's gonna be just as popular because it is good, it is good. And it has a reversible deep carry clip and look at that. It's inset into the liner with flat screws and it has a filler tab on this side. Oh my goodness, they nailed it. Yes, this is such, such a good blade, but check this out. This is 14C 28 in, baby. So we get the good blade steel. Oh yeah, it has those ergonomics that I like so much. The only thing I would change on the Penguin is I would give it more aggressive jimping, but with this size knife, it just, it just fits my hand like a glove. It fits it well. This is a perfect, EDC knife and it has this tip. You have enough for piercing into packages. It's a great package opener. Do I even need to explain how good the Penguin is? Some folks are like, oh, I don't like that style of blade. Well, I understand, but have you used this style of blade very often? If you are an everyday carry, always have a knife in your pocket type person and you don't know what kind, what knife to grab, you, you're never gonna go wrong with the Penguin, especially with 14C28N. So here's this one and uh, you know what? I'm gonna compare this to the QSP Penguin because everybody should have a Penguin, right? Now here's a couple differences. This one here has the D2 blade steel. This one, 14C28N. This one has the satin 
and this one is the stone washed. So this one, you get a little more premium blade and you get the button lock. And did you notice something else is with this one here, you have a pivot, a very nice looking pivot with the logo. Whereas this, this is one of the budget versions. You can also get versions like this that'll have the fancy logo on it. Or if you're gonna go super fancy, here's the big boy. So I'm gonna put the, the big guy right here and then the new one right here. And then the very first penguin I ever owned right here that is still in great shape, still works great. And I've used this knife for so, so long. And then we're gonna put the mini right on top. Would you look at that? That is, it's just like such a happy family. I don't have to go any further. You already know how I feel about it. I love it. The fact that this, this button lock works so well and has such good blade retention, that made my day. I mean, that really made my day. I was so nervous. I was I was about ready for a wah wah, but that made me happy. So there's the new QSP button lock penguin, and there's the canary, and then we have the walrus, and then, oh my goodness, this one here is a salivator for sure. The capybara. Wow. I mean, as far as beauty, this one definitely is, is winning on buttes and on looks, but I love all of these. These are all fantastic knives. I'm excited about them all. Let me know what you think about it. Tell me something in the comments. Which one of these is your favorite? Which one would you carry every day? I want to know. Hey, hit the thumbs up button. That's how you support the channel and lets YouTube know that you like my content and you like this video. Then go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again on the live streams every Friday night or in the chats, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.